Today's show brought to you in part by GoToMeeting. For a free 30-day trial, use code podcast at gotomeeting.com. We're going to get you really snapped on this app here on Travel App of the Day. Maybe I should stop with the puns. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm when. not sure how much value that adds, uh, you know, in general, but, you know, it's, it's mildly entertaining. It's it's mildly entertaining, and Andy always gives me a courtesy laugh every time. Uh, I'm Courtney Wall, and this is a Travel App of the Day here on RVNN TV, and uh, we love to bring you apps that will help you as you travel. And today's travel app of the day is Snapseed, and this is one I can't speak highly enough about because... Uh, it, it's about photography, and this week we've already covered a photography app, um, but let's face it, you take a lot of pictures on the road, and it's really nice to quickly edit them and make them look them, look really nice and share them on social media or email them as quickly as possible, and uh, this is going to be an app that's going to help you. Now, Andy, just, just spitting out a number here, how much is, like, well, I don't know, let's say something like Photoshop, if you were going to get a, <laughs> a professional... <laughs> You know, it, not the editor. professional, even even the uh, Photoshop Elements, I think, is uh, what seventy five hundred dollars. It's uh, not cheap. And not only that, but the learning curve is a little different, don't you think? Yes, but how much would you be willing to pay if you could get eighty percent of the capabilities for? A lot less. A lot less. And, you know, I will repeat myself. I try to pick either uh, very inexpensive apps or free. And this one's $4.99 for the mobile app version. It is $19.99 for the desktop app version. Uh, but what we're talking about is Snapseed. And I'm going to put a little uh, overview video up here. And it kind of walks you through what Snapseed is. So, obviously, it's a photography app. And it is so, so user-friendly. So you can import your photos into this editor on your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod, iPod Touch. And there are specific requirements, and it's all because of resolution and things like that. But if you have the iPhone 3GS or higher, which most of us do, or the iPad, uh, actually iPad first version or higher, um, you're good. So we're pretty much covered on that. It's not available for Android for yet, but it will be. So Andy, you go in here and you click your filters by moving your finger up or down. You're gonna see the example here in a second. So you can kind of, there's some... So you adjust the intensity of the filter you can, or you yeah, choose you can, which it is? You can uh, choose the intensity of it. Um, so there's lots of different... I think they said, I want to say like 14 or 15 different filters on there that you can use. So they're going to pick like if they want vintage or whatever it may be. So then you're going to see him flick his finger up and down or side to side, which will give you the intensity of the filter. Ah. And then if he wants to do something else, he puts his finger up and then you can go to saturation or brightness or whatever you want to do to that specific filter. So you can do it that way. Now you can use the pinch feature like you do on your iPad mm -hmm. or your iPhone, and you can specifically brighten or lighten the area that you pinch. So clearly this is a very beautiful picture, so it makes it look very, very nice. But you know what? This is something you can do so simple, literally at your fingertips, that would take a little longer and would cost a lot more with I, I was just thinking of the keyboard, the keyboard overlays, the keyboard shortcuts, trying to learn the app. All that goes away. It all goes away. And uh, it's just really, really neat. And of course, uh, it's got the social media sharing capabilities as well. So you can email this. You can share it on Facebook. You can actually put it on your Flickr account. Uh, and you can save the original photo and the edited photo. Um, you can print these as well because of, of the quality of pictures that we're, we're making here and the resolution. Um, but it can, let's see here, it's um, JPEG, TIFF, or you can actually even use raw photos out of your camera, but there are some spe uh, specifications if you're using your raw photos. So you wanna be aware of that. And I've got that all in the show notes for today and uh, lots of detail that goes into this, but the actual desktop app, is really neat too. I mean, I'll, I'll, obviously a lot of us take our, our laptops with us as we travel and that's just a part of it. So if you don't have an iPad where you've got that bigger um, screen, okay, mm -hmm. so your desktop you can't like 
do all the fun stuff, which is kind of, oh, you kind of feel bet, like a magician, I bet right? under Lion with the uh, touchpad interface that mm. a lot of that capability is going to be, uh, again, literally at your, at your fingertips. My, uh, my wife actually has this on an iPad, too. Been very happy with it. And it really kind of brings out the creativity in kids because you can take a picture and then let them play with it. And uh, that's, how, that's how young children learn. Uh, and this interactivity and the kind of the thrill of creating something that's, uh, you know, an improvement over what the mechanical uh, photograph itself might be. Absolutely. And can I just say how jealous I am that these, you know, back when I was a kid, they didn't have things like this. And I just think about the creativity that the younger generation is going to have. I mean, three and four years old, they can use Snapseed. Um, I was still like playing with blocks or something. And, <laughs> and you know, just think about what they're going to be able to do and what's what's ahead of us. And this is just a really, really neat app. And I think it's well worth the investment of $4.99 for what, your what, iPhone. What I'm thinking about is is the uh, three and a half hour drive oh, with yes. kids in the back seat. Have how fun. this would be a great way to entertain them uh, for at least a portion of that drive. Exactly. Here is the uh, iPhone version of it. So the video we saw was the iPad version. So if you've got the iPhone and you want to use this, um, like here's the, okay, so you've got grunge filters, center focus frames, uh, tilt and shift. So you've got those filters that you'll begin with. Here's our lovely model again um, and all of the different features it has there. And then you can add drama to it, bright, dark, whatever it may be, um, blur strengthen, saturation, all kinds of cool stuff. You're going to have to have uh, your wife send us some of the pictures that she's yeah, edited. We'll, have, in, we'll in have, to, have to work through that here. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to work through that one. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I don't have this yet. And it's silly that I don't because it's one of those things like $4.99. How much did I spend for my Photoshop and I can't do $4.99? I'm going to do $4.99 today. You bet your bottom. I will show you a picture next time on Travel App of what I created with Snapseed. Uh, so we've got all the details in today's show notes. We've got where you can download it. Again, not available for Android yet. They've got it on the website. They've got all the, the specifications for what you'll need, what device you'll need for when it does come to Android. So check that out at Snapseed.com. And uh, excited for the Droid version to see what those users' oh, yeah, uh, experience absolutely. is like and to see what the interface is. So check it out. Let us know what you think. And... Uh, we're excited about this, and, and Andy's a user, and I, I will be here soon. Uh, Snapseed. Today's show would not be complete without our 30 seconds of shameless plugging. <sighs> Last show of the day. Last show of the day. I got to, like, really, should I really ham this one up, or should I just get you, through you it? You could just <laughs> blitz through it. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll blitz, th blitz through it. Of course, you can find RVNN, all the great shows here on our Boxy app. Be sure to check us out in the channel store. You can subscribe to the RVNN Daily. It comes out every single Friday. And Andy, today happens to be Friday, so check it out. Lots of great social media contributors. Of course, we're on all the social media networks. You can circle us on Google+. Plus. Uh, find us on Pinterest. All of our shows have their own boards. Of course, we're on Facebook and Twitter as well. And last but not least, we are now in the Roku. We're under the Travel category we'd appreciate it if you subscribe tell a friend and give us a rating andy this is your portion of the yeah, show where you tell, tell, a, news. Tell, a, tell a friend and a lot of you have and we really really appreciate it if you go there and look at the uh, travel apps you'll find that uh, we're, we're highly rated and a lot of people have rated us and uh, that really really helps and uh, so after you have a chance to watch us go back to the channel store uh, just uh, take a moment to uh, give us a rating. That will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Very exciting. Uh, that wraps it up for today's show. Of course, Travel App of the Day comes to you every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today is Friday. We wish you a very happy weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Walk, Gabe? 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 Hey, 
Wait, buddy, you lost? Hold on. If your pet is the adventuresome type, be sure he's connected to Pet Hub. A quick scan using any smartphone shares your pet's vital information so that even his wildest escapades have a happy ending. Pet Hub, reuniting pets with their families. Come on, Dave, let's go home. <laughs>